The graphene industry is approaching a tipping point. The commercial success is just around the corner. We at ID Tech X view that the current market is in the order of tens of millions for graphene manufacturers, and we forecast that this will rise to over 300 million within the next decade. Now, despite this, there are still a huge number of challenges to overcome as players start to scale up, as you see these costs start to come down, and as industries start to find applications where graphene and other 2D materials can add value to their applications. There are two main approaches to graphene manufacturing. There's a top-down manufacturing process where you take graphite and usually through an exfoliation or some kind of oxidation reduction process, form powders and nanoplatelets. And these have started to find notable applications in the likes of energy storage, in thermal management for smartphones and automotive, and in mechanical properties, from everything from elastomer liners through to polymer pipelines. Then there's the bottom-up approach, often using a CVD process. These are forming monolayer or few layer graphene films, usually in large sheets or in wafers. And these have started to gain traction in optoelectronics or other sensing devices. And it's another key emerging area that we're seeing. To hear more about the future of graphene commercialization, join us on May the 13th to 14th in Berlin for Graphene and 2D Materials Europe. This two day conference brings the graphene community together. You hear from graphene manufacturers and their partners through to integrators and the end user perspective, really to give you a complete overview of the graphene industry. We'll have many applications on display on our trade floor, and we'll hear some really groundbreaking news. This two-day conference is co-located with many key verticals for the graphene sector, including sensors, printed electronics, electric vehicle materials, and more. So join us on May the 13th and 14th to find out about the home of graphene commercialization.